In this lesson, we'll discuss cursor sampling in lat lawn readout. Let's start off by loading a base velocity product on the WFO scale. So let's make sure we're on the WFO scale. And then go up to the KCRI menu. And then go down to KCRI V. Then over and up to 0.5 V best res. And let's go ahead and load that in. Now we're going to want to use the mouse scroll wheel to zoom in on the data. In particular, let's go ahead and zoom in on the tornado vortex signature to the northwest of the radar site. Now that you've done that, let's go ahead and try to sample the data. To accomplish that, we're going to want to right click and hold anywhere in the map editor. And then select sample. And as we drag our mouse cursor around, we can see that we are sampling the velocity data. If this is too small, if the text is too small, let's go ahead and uh, make the text larger. So go up to the mag menu under MRMS. And from 1, let's change it to 1.5. Now let's go ahead and sample. So right there, we have 93.3 knots inbound velocity. The data is sampled at 3,061 feet above sea level, which is 1,742 feet above ground level. And we are at 25 nautical miles at 308 degrees, that's range and azimuth, away from the radar site, which is KCRI in this case. Now if we were to sample something to the west of this tornado, for example over here, we could potentially be blocking important data such as the tornado vortex signature with our sampling. Now there's a, a nice trick that you can do in AWIPS 2 to prevent this. To do that, let's go up to the cave menu and then go down to preferences. Then navigate to the mouse tab and here we can set different actions for the mouse such as a middle drag, a left click, a middle click and these can all stand for different things for example we can control panning, we can toggle legends show hide resources for now let's try to find something that has to do with sampling so let's go down and see editor action sample let's go ahead and highlight that current event is disabled so let's try to set a new event so let's go ahead and click on new event and let's assign a long left click and we can assign more actions but for now let's just stick with that and select apply and click OK Now to test that out, we're going to have to turn off sampling, so right click and hold. And let's turn off sampling. So we have a long left click and hold, so left click and hold. And you see we've activated sampling. However, this is a little inconvenient because we can only sample that one place we held, we did the long click and hold because if we try to pan, if we try to sample some somewhere else, we just end up panning the map. Now there's another trick. Instead of a one click and hold, we're gonna double left click and hold. So let's try that. Double left click and hold. And you see now, we can sample anywhere we want to without moving the map. Now that we've done that, Next, let's try to activate the lat lawn readout so we can get an exact latitude longitude location. 
So let's right click and hold and select Lat Lawn Readout. Now what that selection does is actually also activate sampling. So now we have Lat Lawn Readout and sampling. And as you said, we don't want that because we might be blocking the data. So let's go ahead and deactivate sampling. And then try our double left click and hold technique to see if we can also have the light lawn readout display. So let's try that. And there you go. Yes, we do. So in this lesson, you got to practice how to sample the data, assign an action to the mouse, and display the light lawn readout.